So this lecture is an introduction to spectroscopy, but uh, it's, I, I wanted to sort of perhaps touch on some different sorts of spectroscopy that you might not have come across. So uh, you know, obviously some is taught in schools, different sorts, and this is sort of an overview of uh, the electromagnetic spectrum and how the light interacts with matter. Really. Okay, so first of all then, well we need a definition of spectroscopy. So what, what would you say, I mean this is, uh, involve the audience here, so... Yeah. Um, how matter relates to radiation. Okay, that's a, I think it's a good start, yeah. Anything else? Any other thoughts? So the uh, Oxford English Dictionary has a really useful definition. Uh, the definition there is, uh, it's the art of using the spectroscope. Uh, <laughs> that branch of science which involves the use of the spectroscope in modern use, the investigation of spectra by any of various instruments. So, but I think, yes, this interaction of the light with matter is a good starting point. I mean, so this is one of the key things here. Um, but really we're looking at how particular frequencies of electromagnetic radiation interact with matter. And so even if we're in the same sort of broad part of the spectrum, some frequencies may be absorbed and others may not be. And that's what gives rise to the spectrum. So it's not just an all or nothing thing, all coloured light is absorbed, of course, certain colours are, certain frequencies are. So, well, I mean, here's an example. <coughs> so, uh, it's, it's, the colours are rather strange on this one today, but anyway, um, so if you went to see the original, of course, what you would be looking at here, white light would be bouncing off the painting, and certain of the pigments uh, would be absorbing certain frequencies of light and certain colours only. Okay. It's not just reflecting all of the visible light off, otherwise the painting would just be white. So certain pigments are absorbing certain colours. Okay. So the yellows here are absorbing colours and reflecting the yellow light, the blues are reflecting blue light and so on. Now a little demonstrate. the colours really are truly horrid, but there we go. Um, oh, there we are. I said, oh, no. Mm -hmm. Yes, there we are. Maybe it depends where I stand or something like that. Um, is, there, is there a loose connection somewhere? Maybe it's this. It's thing. been like that all morning. It's been like that all day. Okay, right, fine. Um, so, what's going on here? This is showing the uh, the coloured part of the spectrum, the visible part of the spectrum, of course, the thing that our eyes are receptive to. And these are some spectra here. And they're actually spectra of um, some coloured films that I have. Okay? So, um, let's uh, just try a little experiment. I have, where is it? It's, uh, it's a, a red laser pointer, okay? And I'm going to shine this through the red filter, and what will happen? What will come out the other side? Red light. Red, yes. It's, there are red light comes out the other side, okay? <coughs> Very easy. I have a green one now, okay? Now, there's a number of different options here. We're going to have a vote, okay? There's three possible options. Uh, I'm going to shine my red laser of this green. There's three uh, possible uh, choices here. Either it's uh, going to go green, or it's going to go straight through and come out red, or it's not going to go through at all. So who thinks shining my red through the green here is going to make it go green? Who thinks it's going to go uh, be absorbed? Who thinks it's going to just come through red? Okay. Whichever, right, okay, so uh, let's try it. So let's see what happens. Yes, it's, uh, it is completely absorbed here. Okay, what about um, yellow? I have a yellow laser. Okay, shining this through, what's going to happen? Sorry? Absorbed or yellow? Absorbed, let's try it. Um, it's absorbed, but not a lot. Okay. Um, what about if I try uh, yellow through red? It's uh, not really absorbed. Um, it's absorbed a little bit, but not a lot. Okay. Um, now, what's going on here? Well, these are spectra. Okay. We've recorded these um, using each of these coloured filters here. And actually, these will tell you what's going to happen as they interact with frequencies of light. So, this is my red laser. Okay. And this is an absorption spectrum. This is telling me, then, if I fire my red... Uh, wherever that one's gone, it is, uh, at the green filter, it's going to be blocked by this. It's not going to get through. If I fire my red at the blue, well, there's a bit of a dip there, and there's a little tiny speck. You might be able to see that. I can see it here, but uh, it's, uh, 
it's absorbed to a degree. What about in the red one? Well, red, it's not being absorbed at all, and similarly yellow, it's not being absorbed at all. We need to, that's the frequency of the red, uh, we can do the same thing, here's the yellow, here's the green, here's the, what did I, when I had a blue laser. Um, so the yellow light uh, is absorbed by the green, it's absorbed by the blue very well, but it's not absorbed by the yellow or the, uh, or the red. We need to be slightly careful if you're trying to do this demonstration, you need to use uh, laser light. Okay? But we are actually getting a spectrum here. So we're seeing spectra for each of these things. We could design an experiment if we had four lasers, these four colours here. You could work out which coloured filter you were putting in front of there by the intensities of the light that's uh, coming out. Okay? You can see that uh, if it's uh, absorbing uh, all of the red, but if it's letting through all of the green and uh, letting through some of the yellow, for instance, it's the green filter. Okay. So it's the absorption of particular frequencies. You need to be careful, as I say, because you need to use laser light because that's monochromatic. If you use a, uh, just a yellow filter and shine a torch through there, you think, oh, well, that's going to give you yellow light. Well, it may not. The problem is it may be giving you a mixture of red and green, which our eye is fooled into thinking is yellow light. So uh, maybe, with, so my laser is giving me pure yellow light, which is fine. But as I say, just shining white light through here, it's actually letting through a lot of the, uh, it's like letting through the green light, it's letting through the red light. And that's what our eye is, is, is interpreting as being yellow. So it's, it's the receptors in your eye that are triggered either by yellow light or by uh, red and green combinations. They fire in the same way, which is how the, this projector should be working. Because, uh, of course, it's only giving three colours. It's just giving red, green and blue. And we're able to get... Uh, to get yellow out of this nonetheless. But if we used a magnifying glass, we'd see that it's just red and green. Anyway, so you would need to use laser light, monochromatic light, and then you can see uh, which are being absorbed and which are not by these different filters here. And that's a very simple example of spectroscopy.